This is Rosen Discrete Mathematics and its application, section 8.3 on divide and conquer algorithms and their recurrence relations. What is a divide and conquer algorithm? Uh, well, the way it works is as its name suggests. We uh, take a problem and we divide it into subproblems that have smaller size, the same nature, but, the, but they're smaller size. And then we have a what we call a conquering step where we take that the results of that smaller sized return and stitch it back together to get a solution of the original problem. And we've seen a couple of examples of a divide and conquer approach to problem solving. Uh, one example is the binary search. We've looked at that in a couple of different contexts. And the way that it works is we uh, take a list, we check the middle element, and then we uh, explore one of two lists, either the upper list or the lower list. And uh, we do that recursively for those each of those sublists we split as well. Another one that we have encountered is the merge sort algorithm. And the way that it works is we have a list of uh, elements we want to uh, order and we split it into two uh, similarly sized sublists, and each of those is also split into similar lists until we get down to a single element. And then we have a bunch of steps to merge all of those uh, smaller lists. All right, so let's look at the way we can describe uh, divide and conquer uh, approaches and we'll use a recurrence relation to do that. So if I have a recursive algorithm or a recursive approach that takes a problem, n will be our problem size of sized n, and we split it into a subproblems. Uh, a will be an integer, usually n will be as well. And this, the, the problems will be um, uh, reduced in size by a factor of 1 over b. So the subproblem will have a size of n over b. And then I've got uh, some uh, numbers of operations I need to do to uh, bring those solutions together to form a final solution. That is the conquer step, and that is some function of the problem size. We'll call it g of n. And so then what I want is an expression for f of n, but it's the number of operations to solve a problem of size n. And we will express it as a divide and conquer recurrence relation, where the number of steps to solve a problem of size n, if I have a subproblems, it's a times the number of steps it takes to pro solve a problem of size n n over b plus any uh, steps to stitch all of those returns together. And that is called the divide and conquer re recurrence relation. Let's look at a couple of different examples. Here we go back to the binary search. What is the, bi what is the divide and conquer relationship for the binary search? Um, well, the search reduces the, the binary algorithm reduces the search on a list of size n to a list of size n divided by 2. And then I need to do two comparisons to accomplish that. One, to determine whether I'm searching the upper or lower half of the list, and another to determine if the list that I'm looking at has the elements, has any elements. And so um, if fn is my number of comparisons, I've got A is equal to 1, because I only search one of those lists. B is equal to 2. And I have 2. So here's A equal 1, B equal 2. And then there's my two uh, comparisons to um, execute that uh, divide and conquer relation. OK, so Fn equals Fn over 2 plus 2. Let's look at uh, merge sort. In the case of merge sort, we, st we also split the lists that we're looking for into two lists, but we search both of them. Um, 
So B is also equal to two for the merge sort, but we will not just look in one, we will need to sort both. And then since um, uh, I'm merging two lists of N over two back together, remember it, it takes uh, um, N plus M minus one comparisons, well, twice N over two is uh, can be a minus one can be approximated by n comparisons to merge the two sorted lists <clears throat> and we'll call the number of comparisons to uh, merge a list of size n m n and we've got two sub problems the upper half of the list the lower half of the list and um, the b so a is equal to two b is equal to two and g of n equals n. Okay. All right, one more that uh, will be uh, perhaps new. That's fast multiplication of integers. All right, so um, if I want to multiply two uh, binary integers of length 2n each, and we'll assume that n is even, and we can do that by adding zeros as needed to the left of the integer of the numbers. First, we're going to split those integers into two blocks, each having n bits. So a and b are our integers. They have binary expansions of 2n. Here they are uh, represented by a indexed a's. Those are all zeros and ones. Now I'm going to let a b 2 to the n times a1 plus a0 b is 2 to the n times b1 plus b0 where a1 is the upper half of the uh, digits in lowercase a and a0 is the lower half of it same thing for b b1 is the upper half b0 is the lower half and then i can express um, a times b with this algorithm here which has three multiplications of integers half the size of A and B. So there's the three multiplications of n-bit integers versus a single multiplication of two n-bit integers. So Fn is my total number of operations needed. I'm gonna have uh, A is equal to three in uh, b is equal to 2 but i show it going from 2n down to n and then g of n equals c times n some constant times n all right well let's uh this is kind of just thrown at you so let's derive that all right so a n equals two to the n a one plus a zero b it's not sorry not an n there equals two to the n b one plus b zero so a b equals two to the n a one plus b zero times two to the n this is going to be a zero there b one plus b zero and this equals 2 to the 2n a1 b1 just doing the binomial multiplication plus 2 to the n times a1 b0 plus a0 b1 plus a0 b0 um, but i haven't really done anything here because now i have four multiplications of integers half the size so let's uh, add and subtract um, 2 to the n a1 b1 and 2 to the oops 2 to the n a um, excuse me a yeah a0 b0. So then that looks like 2 to the 2n plus 2 to the n. Here's where I add a1 b1 plus 2 to the n, a1, b0. Here's where I subtract a1, b1. I'll subtract a0, b0. 
and now I have a 0B1 from earlier. And then I'll add back in uh, A0B0 zero, zero here. Uh, oops. There we go. Uh, add to the n plus 1, a0, b0. And now I can factor this long term here as such, 2 to the n, 2n plus 2 to the n times a1, b1 plus 2 to the n times a1 minus a0 times b0 minus b1. And if you'll multiply that out yourself, you'll see that it equals the number above. Plus 2 to the n plus 1 times a0, b0. And now I have only three multiplications of integers half the size, whereas up here I had four multiplications of integers half the size. And that gives us the uh, number of subproblems a equals 3. Thank <laughs> you.